Well, I want to start off by saying that it was uh, the job was done by Headstrong Graphics over in Illinois. Jason and Marcus, they do a great job, and I would recommend anyone to go there if they need their helmet done. Um, to start with, I have the shield from our jerseys that we'll be wearing in Sochi. Um, the, it's a little modified. The blue part instead of the USA has uh, three stars. Uh, but I wanted the shield on, on the helmet not only because I want to show my pride and my patriotism, but I feel like as a whole, it represents, uh, you know, just the pride and the honor that we have as a team. So I wanted to make it more about, you know, you know, resembling what the team, how the team feels, than you know how I feel at a personal level. Um, and so, you know, that's the cool thing about uh, being able to design your mask in the way that you want is, you know, you can make it more than just wh what you know how you feel and um, what you believe in. And so, I think that that's. Uh, a really cool part to the helmet uh, and something that uh, you know as a whole will represent what we how we feel and how we're going to um, rep be representing the United States in Sochi and then we'll move on to the right side of the helmet which uh, has a portrait of the skyline of St. Louis um, and you know for obvious reasons I put it on there as a St. Louis native and it's uh, that's an aspect that I've had on each one of my helmets, uh, you know, from my one in Torino in 2006, as well as my one in Vancouver in 2010, so I wanted to keep the tradition going. But what I think is really unique about this one is how realistic it is. Uh, you know, they did a great job of, you know, instead of just slapping the skyline on there, they kind of made it look like it had a glow to it, and I feel like the way they did it, uh, it'll make people fall in love with the city just by looking at it. Uh, and then moving on to the chin, we have the number 34, which is the number that I've worn for years throughout my hockey career. And I picked that number because it's the number that my brother James wears as a goalie. Uh, he's been one of my biggest influences in my hockey career. And, um, you know, I feel like uh, I wouldn't be where I am today without um, his expertise and his advice that he's given me along the way. Uh, and then not only that, I wouldn't be where I am today without my other two brothers, Mike and Donnie. And so I wanted to have the number on there simply because it's, you know, something that hits home for me. And then to wrap out uh, the front of the mask, the t to top it off, we have the USA on the top. Uh, I really liked the design of the USA that we had in our Van on our Vancouver jerseys in 2010. So I felt like, uh, you know, I wanted to keep that going and have that put on the top. and make sure it's big enough for everyone to see and um, kind of make a statement out there. Uh, and then to, uh, to finish it off, I want to um, tell you about the masterpiece that's on the back. Uh, I, I call it El Gato. It's um, a picture of a cat breaking through a brick wall uh, with money signs in his eyes. Uh, it's kind of an inside joke between me and the team, but at the same time, I wanted to make it look as realistic as possible. Uh, maybe it could intimidate the opponents, uh, but I also wanted to incorporate the money sign in there because uh, with the last name Cash, how could you not uh, throw that out there? Um, so I feel like that may, you know, add a uh, comical t touch to the mask, but at the same time, it's so realistic that it really pops. So uh, everything that's on the mask has its own little personal story. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I think it was brought together to really create a cool design and hopefully it's something that everyone else can enjoy too.